I have the HDMI output of the camcorder connected to the AV monitor. There's nothing unusual about that. I'm sure a lot of you have done that yourself. What I am going to do in just a second is hook the Avid software up to that same monitor using the Black Magic Design Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. As you folks can tell, the color, the saturation, the contrast looks identical from what was coming out of the HDMI port of the camcorder. In order to use third-party hardware with Avid's Media Composer, you simply click on this little icon and select the piece of hardware you need, or you can go down to Configure, and that'll give you access to all the different parameters. It's basically the control panel for Blackmagic Design. You're probably not going to have the option to use third-party hardware with the free version of Avid Media Composer. I am now using the Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio monitor to play back that same video clip using Premiere Pro. You can tell the colors are the exact same. Someone could be editing video using a Dell laptop and Avid's Media Composer software, and another person could be editing using an iMac and Adobe Premiere Pro and the image from both computer setups will be identical when you're using third-party hardware. Buying an I.O. device from Blackmagic Design or AJA is money well spent. In order to use the Blackmagic Design products, you do have to download the drivers from their website. The drivers install really super easy on Mac and PC. You select Support, then you select Capture and Playback. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna to wanna to get the newest driver, which is desktop video. If the latest version of desktop video seems buggy, you can go back several months or even go back several years. If you've got an older operating system or you're using an older video editing software program, Blackmagic Design makes it super easy to get the appropriate driver.